Hello, I'm Lucas, and this is a bit of lit, and it's time to do a March TBR. Now, in February, I had promised to read five books or something uh, to myself, and uh, that didn't happen because I missed a week. We won't get into that, but uh, I'm going to make up for it because I still have nothing to do this month. Unless things change and I can start going to work and making money again, which would make me very happy. Uh, anyway, the first book I will read or finish reading is uh, Go Down Moses by William Faulkner. And I am currently on part two, The Fire and the Hearth, I believe is what it's called, and I'm on chapter two. Maybe you can see it there. I don't know. Go down, Moses. Anyway. Yeah, the fire and the hearth. So, yeah, I'm 33 pages in. It's 314 pages on the Kindle. And it's really good so far, I think. Uh, the run-on sentences, or the just incredibly long sentences, are difficult to get through. But I'm still enjoying it. It does feel a little pretentious, but, uh, you know, he wants to make his readers work for their art, and, uh, work for his art, then I suppose that's what he's going to do. Uh, anyway, I'm going to read this entire thing, and I might do a little bit of a read-along kind of thing for it, uh, not everything. Uh, this is the annotated Milton complete English poem, and, um, it, I will read everything in here is reinterpretations of the Psalms, uh, and Comus, a mask, and L'Allegro, and Katie's and uh, all, all these kinds of things. And then, of course, Paradise Lost. And I will read Paradise Regained. And I will read Samson Agonistus. Uh, I believe that there is a book read-along activity thing on Booktube called... Uh, March of the Mammoths, and it's about reading an 800-plus page book, if I remember correctly. Uh, I don't know if there is a rule that it has to be, like, a history or a novel or whatever, um, and be one continuous story, so to speak, but um, this is 825 pages, 22 pages. And I'm going to count it. Uh, so that'll be a lot of poetry to read. That'll be good. I'm sure I'll do one of his sonnets or something for poetry Thursday. I don't know. Uh, and then let's get through these other ones quickly. I'm going to read uh, Selected Short Stories by Virginia Woolf. Because I want to get into her. And I bought like six or seven books of hers before all this madness in China happened, so we're going to be reading that, and between that, I'll be reading this Chinese philosophy book, Mozu, the book of Master Mo. Uh, I don't really know much about it, I've only read um, Confucius and Mencius, but I believe all the other books I have about Chinese philosophy are uh, not in line with Confucianism. So, should be interesting. Uh, and I will read Tomorrow Is Now by Eleanor Roosevelt with this ugly blue lettering. Should have just been the photo of her, but... So be it. And this, I don't... This is her manifesto to move America forward. And I've heard a lot about her. I think she's the first, like, active first lady. I don't really know, but I'm, I'm interested to read this, see what she had to say. Uh, yeah. And then after that, I will be reading more Chinese philosophy. 
And uh, this is the book of Chuang Tzu, who I think is a, yeah, a Taoist. And uh, there's a lot of conflict between Taoism and Confucianism, at least in the ancient Chinese world. Should be interesting. And uh, then, <laughs> if I haven't picked enough things to read, I will read Chinese fairy tales and fantasies, and I'm very excited about this. I bought this last year, and I just never read it. Uh, I mean, a couple pages I've read, a couple stories. They're really short. Let's see, two there, one there. You know, uh, they're all just be really interesting to read. Uh, and this, read these fairy tales and fantasies, and it's. I, the Pantheon Fairy Tale and Folklore Library. And I have quite a few of these on my Kindle, actually. And I enjoy them, so. Uh, anyway, of course, we can't get into Taoism without Lao Tzu's Tao Te Ching. And, um, yeah. More Chinese philosophy. I'm not really a fan of philosophy, but it is interesting to read uh, Chinese philosophy just to have a better grip on, um, you know, some of the literature I've read from China and the, the way the culture is uh, even to this day in some, some respects. Uh, and then, I don't know if I'll finish it, but I'm going to try to start O. Henry Selected Stories uh, because I've been very interested in reading um, short stories lately. And he's a master of the uh, surprise twist ending, I guess. So that should be interesting. And that's what I've got planned for reading. I might start reading other things too, I don't know. Um, hopefully I can get through all of that. I've got nothing to do, so I don't see why not. But, uh, you know, I might uh, try to pick up other hobbies, which will get in the way of reading, which is not a bad thing necessarily. I just have to pick productive hobbies. Uh, and that's all I've got to say. Thank you for watching. I will see you next time. Goodbye.